Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today, I'm talking about baby names. I'm gonna share with you 10 baby names that I absolutely love, but most likely won't be using. And these names are actually going to be Halloween themed, so stay tuned. Now personally, I love talking about baby names. And usually as soon as I find out whether I'm having a girl or a boy, I've already got the name picked out. But I say I probably won't be using these names because number one, I already have four kids, so I kind of have my hands full. And number two, in the event that I do have any more kids, I already have two names in mind. So I probably won't be using these ones. I'm gonna be sharing 10 baby names, five girl names and five boy names in no particular order. I'm gonna tell you the name, why I like it, sort of some information about it, and why it makes me think of Halloween. And all of this information I found on babycenter.com, so you can go there for more information if you'd like. Oh yes, and before I get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like baby name videos. Now let's get started. Okay guys, so you'll have to bear with me here. I have a little cheat sheet just so I don't forget anything. But the first name that I absolutely love but most likely will never use is Harry. Now according to babycenter.com, the name Harry actually comes from the name Harold and is of European descent and most likely it means ruler of the home. Now Harry is not very popular in the US at all. It's only number 412 this year. It's definitely more popular in the UK. Now when I think of Harry, I automatically think of Harry Potter because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. In fact, my kids already have Harry Potter inspired names, all of them, although it's very subtle. So that's probably why I could never pick the name Harry because I feel like that would be super obvious that I was a Harry Potter fan. Not that that's a bad thing, but I probably wouldn't use it. Moving on to a girl name, one that I really love but most likely will never use is Sabrina. Now Sabrina is of Latin origin and it means from the border. Now Sabrina is actually not that uncommon these days and is actually rising in popularity. It's number 386 this year. But when I think of Sabrina, I automatically think of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Did you guys watch that show? I'm pretty sure I've seen every single episode of the entire series more than once. I loved that show. It was with Melissa Joan Hart and it was romantic and funny and cute. I highly recommend you check it out. Moving back over to the boy category, one name that I really love but definitely will never use is Jacob. Now Jacob is a Hebrew name and it means supplanter, which isn't the best of meanings. Now let me know in the comments down below, how much do you take into consideration the meaning of names? If you found out that a name that you really loved had a bad meaning, would you still use it or would you move on to something else? Let me know. But Jacob is actually really popular this year. It's number 15 and I actually have a cousin named Jacob so that's probably why I wouldn't use it. But when I think of Jacob other than my cousin, I think of the movie and the book series Twilight. Let me know if you guys have ever read the books or seen the movies, but basically Jacob is the werewolf and Edward is the vampire and I'm definitely Team Jacob. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below, Team Jacob, Team Edward, but I really like that name, but I would definitely never use it. The next baby girl name that I really love is Luna. Now Luna is of Latin origin and it means moon. And it's surprisingly really popular this year. It's number 26 on the list. Now when I think of Luna, I automatically think of Harry Potter again because of the character Luna Lovegood. Now Luna Lovegood was a really cute character, very sweet, but she was kind of loony. And that's probably why I wouldn't use that name because I'd be afraid that she, my child might get made fun of a little bit because of that name. And I already have a daughter named Lily. So Lily, Luna, maybe too similar. The next name on my list is Tim, which is of Greek origin and short for the name Timothy, which means honoring God. Now Tim is not very popular at all this year. It's number 1063, so not very popular at all. And you wouldn't necessarily think of Halloween when you say the name Tim, so it's a little bit more obscure. But if you think of Tim Burton, I definitely think of Halloween. Now Tim Burton has made so many scary, creepy, Halloween-like movies. We've got The Nightmare Before Christmas and Corpse Bride and so many more. So 
When you think of Tim Burton, I definitely think Halloween. The next girl name on my list is also a T name, and that is Trixie. Now, Trixie is of Latin origin, again, and it's short for the name Beatrice, which means bringer of joy, which I really like. And I actually had the name Beatrice on my baby name list, um, and I almost picked it because I have a great grandmother named Beatrice, and I thought the nickname Trixie would be really cute. And Trixie makes me think of trick or treat, which is definitely Halloween related, um, but it's really not popular. Trixie is number 4,651 on the list. Now Beatrice is number 619, so it's a lot more popular, but I didn't end up picking Beatrice or Trixie just because there's other names that I like better. Next up in the boy category, I have another Twilight inspired name, and that is Cullen. Now Cullen is of Celtic origin and it means young animal or handsome. And it's really not that obscure these days because of the Twilight series. It's not that popular either though, it's number 658. Now obviously, like I said, I think of the movie Twilight because of the family of Cullens, um, but I don't think I'd ever actually use that name. Number one, it's not my husband's favorite and I think people would always want to call him Colin, you know, with an O. And I've learned from Damien McKenzie and Lily that I'm going to try not to be ambiguous with spellings because people always spell Lily wrong and they always spell McKenzie wrong and yeah, I'm just going to stay away from that. The next girl name that I really like is Reagan. Now Reagan is an Irish name and it means noble, but it's definitely one of those names that's been rapidly declining over the last couple of years. Right now it's number 1,508, so definitely not very popular anymore. Not that that's a bad thing, I still really like the name, but if you've ever seen the movie Exorcist, you might know that the main character's name is Reagan, so it definitely has a kind of a creepy Halloween connection. Next up in the boy category, I have the name Freddy. I think it's a really cute name. It's short for Frederick, which is a German name, and it means peace. But you could also think of Freddy Krueger when you think of the name Freddy. You know that horror movie, Nightmare on Elm Street? Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Not a cute name, but Freddy for a little boy kind of has that old timey charm to it. But instead of doing Freddy, I might do Teddy instead because I do have a great grandfather named Theodore and I think Teddy would be a good substitute for Freddy. Okay guys, so the last baby girl name that I love but definitely will never use is Coraline. Now Coraline is a Greek name and it means from the coral of the sea, so it's a really pretty name. And it's actually gaining in popularity right now. It's number 598, so that means it's not super obscure, but it's not super popular either. It's somewhere in between, which I definitely like. But when I think of the name Coraline, I definitely think of that creepy movie called Coraline. Did you guys ever see it? It's definitely a darker movie. It's meant for kids, but I think it would probably give my kids nightmares. Um, so yeah, I don't think I would use that name because of that movie. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Halloween inspired baby name is. And let me know if you've actually used any of these names for your kids. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween.